So what are the anti-aging effects of melatonin? And when I was doing the research, I was actually very, very surprised about all the studies that I found. There's a lot of studies on topical melatonin, but also on just natural melatonin as secreted from the brain, as well as oral melatonin. The effects of melatonin on skin anti-aging is considerable. People don't typically talk about the effects of melatonin on anti-aging of the skin, but melatonin has demonstrated anti-aging properties in both in vitro as well as in vivo studies and human studies. The skin has functional melatonin receptors and is able Able to produce and regulate melatonin synthesis in the skin. It increases expression and activity of enzymes in the skin that scavenge, re that scavenge reactive oxygen species, or ROS, as well as help to repair DNA. That is significant because when it comes to skin aging, there is DNA damage, especially with respect to UV, ultraviolet radiation exposure, as well as pollutants in our environment, things in our diet, things just in our natural lifestyle, as well as just the intrinsic aging, as well as reactive oxygen species free radicals can generate just naturally in the body and have some benefits as well you know inhibiting all oxidation or free radicals is not the way to go but it's about inhibiting the excessive production of ROS as uh, as well as DNA damage being a powerful antioxidant it limits oxidative stress and reduces inflammation to a certain extent as well as ultraviolet radiation UV radiation UV being the primary driver of skin aging or external skin aging I think that there's some researchers who suggest that skin aging or UV is responsible for 80% up to 90% of skin aging. And then it has those downstream effects like inflammation and oxidative stress that, you know, again, are key drivers in skin aging. So having something that limits these like melatonin is, incre is incredibly important, but people, again, don't really talk about this that, that much when it comes to the anti-aging world. We talk about other things, you know, just antioxidants generally, but we don't really talk about melatonin, the natural production of melatonin, as well as topical and oral melato melatonin and its effects on anti-aging. Um, when it comes to inflammation, it, it may limit inflammation. Melatonin may limit inflammation and inflammation is a big driver of skin aging. Another downstream effect of UV pollutant exposure, as well as just exercise and naturally produced inflammation, but inflammation also termed inflammaging in the anti-aging space, which you know, I actually do prefer that inflammaging, that, that term because it definitely describes on a cellular level what happens when it comes to skin aging. Furthermore, mitochondrial dysfunction, this is a significant contributing factor to aging. When it comes to mitochondrial dysfunction, it has been reported to improve with melatonin on several levels in different cells and different systems. So this mitochondrial dysfunction can happen in the cells and sort of drive the biological aging, but also drive skin aging and sort of, you know, the visible signs of aging. So melatonin has a, an important uh, an important role in potentially improving that or reducing that mitochondrial dysfunction to a certain to a certain degree. There are also one of the key factors of external or skin aging is epidermal atrophy or basically skin thinning. When the skin gets thinner, it's more prone to showing signs of dryness and fine lines and wrinkles and uh, things like that. But there is some research to suggest that melatonin may improve overall epidermal thickness. That's pretty exciting. Um, whether or not just improving the natural production of melatonin at night by just turning off all the lights and exposing yourself to darkness and taking a melatonin pill is going to help is debatable. And I'll get into that a little bit later in this podcast. But I, I did wanna mention this one ex vivo study that I found in my research. And it's it was an ex vivo study of human eyelid skin, which yes, I know, sounds gross, but uh, it did reveal very significant findings, very promising findings with respect to the anti-aging effects of melatonin. First of all, it showed that the application of high-dose melatonin on this human on the human skin samples for just six days, they significantly downregulated MMP1 expression and MMP. I think, did I mention this earlier with the chlorella? MMP are these matrix metalloproteinases. These are collagen degrading enzymes. And when your skin is exposed to UV, when it's exposed to visible light, pollutants in our environment, basically everything in our environment, uh, it can induce the generation of these collagen degrading enzymes. So having something like, again, things in your diet, like green tea, chlorella, or, you know, other other antioxidant rich foods, as well as paying attention to the the, the effects that light has on, on your melatonin levels at, at night can be incredibly important for inhibiting to a certain extent these MMPs that's playing a powerful role in skin anti-aging. And the same study of human eyelid skin, I just can't get over that, oh my gosh. Um, I, th I think they used human eyelid skin because that's one of the, the key 
I think that's what what shows aging first for a lot of people for a lot of people because it's just so thin around the eyes but they found that the application of this high dose melatonin also significantly downregulated mTORC1 and mTORC1 stands for a mammalian target of rapamycin complex 1 this is a protein complex which which the increase of which is associated with cell and tissue aging and this is given that the mTORC pathway promotes senescence again senescence being cell aging very important to to think about senescence is is another driver of skin aging and it's something that has not yet been fully explored and the impacts of which have not been fully elucidated but it's definitely a powerful factor involved in skin aging so again having something that may help to tamper down on that mTORC1 pathway or complex i should say may be important for helping to just sort of limit to a certain extent that that senescence this same study also found that melatonin significantly increased the vegfa uh, protein and this is a protein that induces human skin rejuvenation so increasing this protein that increases human skin rejuvenation is very pro promising it also this protein also reduces oxidative stress and improves oxidative damage repair another important thing to to think about when it comes to skin and skin anti-aging the study also found that melatonin significantly increased expression of fibrillin 1 protein and improved the network of collagen and elastic fibers in the skin uh, a key stem cell niche matrix molecule molecule called transmembrane collagen 17a1 this declines over time was also significantly upregulated with melatonin in the study the study had a short treatment window of just like six days so it's hard to tell you know what the the longer term effects are of melatonin on the skin but the researchers did suggest in their paper which i'll leave a link down below in the in the show notes but they did suggest that the effects of melatonin could be maximized in a longer term clinical study that actually involved humans very promising study very compelling study on the effects of melatonin but let's dive a little bit deeper into some more research to elucidate i guess the the further benefits of the the potential benefits of melatonin on skin anti-aging when we think about melatonin there is one thing that it also plays an important role in when it comes to anti-aging and that is by that is its role or its involvement in activating something called nrf2 and i've talked about nrf2 in my youtube videos on like broccoli sprouts i believe because that helps to activate this this pathway this stand, nrf2 stands for nuclear factor erythroid 2 related factor 2. this is a pathway that is that orchestrates endogenous antioxidants so antioxidants that your body naturally produces like glutathione peroxidase superoxide dismutase catalase and it helps to protect the skin against uv radiation and um associated with oxidative stress so or oxidative stress associated with uv radiation and one of melatonin well one of melatonin's antioxidant effects is by activating this nrf2 expression this is one this is one reason nrf2 is some is something that's really critical when it comes to anti-aging of the skin and it's, and it's one reason why i incorporate things like broccoli and broccoli sprouts as well as a broccoli sprout extract supplement just because i the research out there is so compelling when it comes to the skin and when it comes to anti-aging that it's something that i try to incorporate into to my lifestyle any chance that I can into my diet any chance that I can something that will help to activate that expression of that NRF2 because it orchestrates all these natural powerful antioxidants that your body produces on its own and over time the body can have a hard time producing some antioxidants and so having something that can just sort of help it along the way can be incredibly powerful melatonin also features potent anti-inflammatory functions inflammaging and in, in, inflammation is a powerful key driver to aging and skin aging and this may also help to play a role in protection of the skin against uvr or uv radiation there are some animal studies which show that melatonin may also significantly reduce water loss in the skin associated with uvb exposure another hallmark of skin aging is skin dryness and the skin just trans epidermal water loss you've probably heard of that before it's basically where the water evaporates from your skin causes skin dryness very common in the winter very common when you are indoors during the winter and you have the indoor heaters on or even the air conditioning on and the air is dry or you live in a very dry environment the, the water is going to be evaporating from your skin so always be sure you're moisturizing your skin but over time the skin also has a hard time keeping in that moisture and the water loss can occur over time so having something in your arsenal i should say your nutritional arsenal or something like melatonin and increasing your production of melatonin naturally that it may have an effect on that water loss a beneficial effect on helping you retain water is incredibly important 
important. And when I say retain water, obviously I mean in the skin, because that gives it its plumpness, its sort of vibrancy, its bounciness. And it, it's something that you definitely have to pay attention to when it comes to the skin and anti-aging. There is also some previous research uh, over the past few years that have shown that injectable melatonin, not natural pr produced melatonin, not oral melatonin or topical, but injectable melatonin was incapable of increasing collagen type one in the skin. Now we're kind of unsure how that translates to topical or oral oral administration or natural endogenous endogenous secretion but it is definitely something that to to think about and i think is really compelling it sort of shows us sort of the mechanism of action and how it might work in the skin mm -hmm.